last month I introduced you to a woman who went viral in the best possible way. Remember this? Visitors in Telluride, Colorado are having an amazing day because it's an awesome place, just to start with that. But they were stunned when a bear dashed through a resort chased by a police officer. The incident was caught on video, but one woman, <laughs> she's my personal hero, was the only one to ask the really important question. Take a look. Holy Don't God. tase it. Don't tase it. Is that it. Jeff, the hot cop? <laughs> So what's what's up with Jeff? Any chance with Jeff or? <laughs> um, I did post a few follow-ups on my TikTok sharing the news that he's married. Oh, but okay. even though he's off the market, I'm still hoping to find someone to cuff me. <laughs> I also do it for really good news for did she say? Did, did you say cuff me? Oh my God! You have got to come Please. in studio for an interview. <laughs> Nikki and meet MGK. Hi. Hi guys, it's so great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, wait, I have to get more backstory. You're so funny. Um, so <laughs> how did you meet Jeff the hot cop in the first place? Right, so um, a few of my friends and I were leaving the bars one night in Telluride and um, we were a little tipsy. We come up on these two police officers, both very attractive, sitting on the back of their truck. And we went up to them, we we're kind of like messing around with them, taking photos. And uh, yeah, it was like just a super random run and it's a very small town, so like everybody knows. I love Telluride, it's so fun. Are you <laughs> into police officers in general? You just like a man in uniform or <laughs> like? <laughs> so not necessarily. Um, I, it, there's definitely something attractive about a man in uniform with some it, authority, 100%. you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. But overall, I'm really just kind of looking for someone who has the same passion for life as I do. I'm super like outdoorsy, adventurous. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. So really someone who just matches my energy. Yeah. That's what I'm out here for. I love that. Okay, so wait, what's your advice to, to Grace on, on, on you know finding someone? Uh, are you on the dating apps? Uh, struck out with those a few too many times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty sad on there. I always yeah. feel like, are you a little worried on a dating app that you're gonna run into like, a be a Dateline special? That's my point? fear. I watch yeah. way too much Criminal Minds to be comfortable right? with something yeah, like that. Like, who are you really? Like, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm thinking in my head. Yeah. Are you on dating apps? Would you do dating apps? I am on dating apps. Okay. Yeah, I do that. You don't mind being a Dateline I, special? I, I you know. <laughs> They're always like, do you wanna go on a hike in the woods or meet in a Best Buy parking lot? I'm like, what? What, what are we doing? <laughs> Midnight run near the old rock quarry. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll be the star of a podcast. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't mind it. I just like, I'm, I'm just sad about guys like profiles on dating apps. I just don't think they represent themselves well because men don't have as many photos of themselves as women do yeah. because we have like friends helping us out, being like, oh, you look cute, yeah. and guys don't have that, so they just do like the gym. The selfie. Okay, like wait, the I, selfie I have to say though, hold on. Have you seen the new Hinge update with like the the voice memo thing? Oh, that's important. It's ridiculous. Wait, it's like, what? So on Hinge now, you can like record yourself like answering a question, and like some guys like have sung on there. It's oh. it's like one of the cringiest things I've ever. Oh, oh my god, I love you. It's the ick. You know what the ick is? Yes. Yeah. Huh? So mine's like guys in flip flops, etc. But yeah. the, the the ick is definitely. On you page. like guys in flip flops? No, that's my ick. I hate oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I'm like, I don't like dude, anything in between my toes. We never need to see those. Ever. We never need yeah. to see those. It's not like your toes are done. No, if we never. It's like your toes are done. <laughs> Put those away. <laughs> okay, wait. I have a surprise for you. As a judge on The Voice, I am used to listening without seeing the person. Um, it really does make a difference. Um, so I have two great guys backstage for her to meet. Uh, both just happen to be hot cops. Um, they're, they're, they are legit law enforcement officers. Um, there is a catch. Grace is gonna have to use her ears instead of her eyes. Um, and I have something to help. Um, here we go. You get yeah. to sit in my chair. Oh my God. So this is what we call blind dating. So, so when we come back, Grace is barring my actual chair from The Voice to choose her next date. That's happening. <laughs> All right, we are back with Machine Gun Kelly and Nikki Grace. Also joining us is Grace 
who went viral on TikTok for her attraction to hot cops. Um, <laughs> today we're giving her a chance to find love, people. I'm letting her borrow my voice chair to choose between two sexy police officers. Instead of seeing her potential suitors, she'll have to use her ears, which we've learned she loves on Hinge. Um, <laughs> so this should go well. Um, she has to use her ears and her heart to find love. This is blind dating. Let's do it. I really wish we would have known about that whole you don't like voice memo thing <laughs> beforehand. Um, but let's meet your men in blue. Here we go. All right. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's someone's birthday and we're in Vegas and it's about to be decided. It's awesome. I love what's happening right now. Y'all look so handsome. And first of all, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so go ahead and introduce yourselves. First off, nice to meet you, Grace, Nikki, MGK, Kelly. Yeah. Uh, I'm Matthew Mann. I'm a police officer at Hollandale Police Department. I've been there for almost a year now. When I'm not policing, I'm a substitute teacher as well as a basketball coach. I like to do... I like oh, to... you love this guy. <laughs> you love this guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like to do anything where I can interact with the youth, just be be in the kids' lives, because a lot of kids don't have somebody they can talk to, and just try to be set an example. That's so cool. Good luck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go. I'm Jonah Goddard uh, from the East Ridge Police Department. I've been a police officer for about uh, three years or so. Now, one thing I love to do, or at least as a police officer, is I love to help people. You know, people usually call us on our worst days. And if I can just be that light in that darkness, that means a lot to me. Oh, wow. Um, now, that being said, I am really, really goofy. And so I like to have a good time. I like to have fun. Yeah. I love these guys. OK. OK, so here's how this works. Um, officers Matthew and Jonah will take turns talking. Um, just like the voice, if Grace hears something that she likes, she'll hit the button, the chair will turn, and that will be the man she chooses. Uh, Grace can hit the button at any time, but I strongly recommend patience and really listening. Um, so, bachelors, uh, tell us something unique about yourself as well as a first date idea. Matthew, you can go first. Uh, something unique about myself, I grew up on a farm in a small community. So, you know, the community is all really close and I'm, I'm super family oriented. Speaking of family, I have 10 siblings. Oh, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're all super close. I love my family. I'm also adopted, so there's a lot of love in my family. Yeah. And as far as the date, I feel like my dating idea is really unique. Um, I'd like to go to a trampoline park or something and go have fun, because it, it brings the inner kid out of Did people. you say the trampoline park? Yes. <laughs> I love a trampoline yes. park. Yes, this one. Do yeah, you can, you can play that's fun, yeah. Okay. It does start to feel like fat camp at some point for yeah, an adult. Fun for but like 20 yes. minutes. <laughs> yes. pay for an, just pay for one hour. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, go to Trampoline Park. It brings the inner kid out of people so you can so you can hear them laugh and really see where their heart's at. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm really big on like just chilling in the car for a couple hours and talking and let me see where your music tastes at, where mine's at. Because I feel like music is really a, like a, a link to somebody's soul so we can just get to know each other. I love it, Matthew. How about you? Okay, something unique about myself is that, so I'm a very outdoorsy person to begin with. I love kayaking, hiking, uh, snowboarding. If I have a chance to be outdoors, I am outdoors by far. Now, I am a twin, so we grew up in a... <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we grew up in a very competitive family, you know? I gotta beat my brother. It's just, it's, it's, it's the law at this point. <laughs> but uh, I grew up playing baseball, basketball, soccer, so I'm pretty much a dude who's gonna try anything at least, uh, at least one time. Um, now, as far as the date, let me tell you. Okay, I have to tell you this. I, okay, I love to dance, so we're gonna go dancing, okay? We have I to go love to, it. It's gonna be a concert. Nikki <laughs> loves dancing as well. Kelly, don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please stop. Yeah, catch me dancing at, at a concert, MGK, Kelly, I'll be there. Hey, in, right. in or out of uniform, I'll be there. All I right. promise. I feel oh, like he's looking right at you. In my I soul. know. <laughs> so, wait, so off the bat, who is in lead for you? What do that you think? was just like both the best. Yeah, I know that's pretty yeah. good. I yeah. need to step my pitch. My <laughs> <laughs> pitch up. Right. What I don't know. You, ten, ten brothers and sisters. I'm just like, mm, that's, that's a lot of that's people to army. get to know. If you ever have a problem, you got to. Oh, you got. If you have a flat that a tire, that can one help. of them yes. can help you. Yes. <laughs> that's a good yes. point. That's a good point. Yes. All right. Well, let's take things up a notch. Um, you know, I believe in the magic of song, people. Um, and this is my voice chair, and I do make the rules here on the show. <laughs> so I asked officers Matthew and Jonah to pin their very own love ballad 
words. Um, so Grace, remember, you can hit the button when you're ready, but listen to what they're saying before you make your choice, is all I'm saying. Um, okay, so Matthew and Jonah, take it away. Chris, I saw your TikTok of a bear running wild. Heard you say there's that high cup as you left with a smile. I don't know what you think when you're thinking about jail, but I'll show you I'll be the best cop that you've had. Hello, Grace. You were looking for Jeff, but I want to be your cop, man. I don't chase bears, but for you, I would chase that bear. So baby, take my hand and give me a chance. We can turn the blue lights on so we can dance, yeah. Grace, I'm sorry to tell you that this is the end of the song that I made for you. I hope that it made you grand. I'm giving my all and I pray you see that when I finish this So Grace, now here we are on Kelly Clarkson. I flew to Cali just to try to win your heart and you found Jeff, but I can play the part. Wait, I wanted to show you that I care. First things first, I'd still chase the bear. Not gonna lie. Why don't you drop for the voice, man? What's happening? That's what like, <laughs> I mean, you should. What the hell just happened, Matthew? <laughs> I mean, you opened your mouth, and I was like, "What? <laughs> You're like really great at singing." Yeah, that. I, I just that think was it's weird. Hard. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> you weird. sing on the Kelly Clarkson show too, and it was really good. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. A big thanks to Matthew. Uh, we wish you the best. You should try for the voice. <laughs> Oh my God! So Grace and Jonah um, are are gonna get to know each other now, y'all. Um, one more thing, though. I heard Matthew and Jonah rehearsing before the show, and it was hilarious. And there might be a bromance brewing there. I'm just saying they were so sweet. They were children's children trying to help each other out. You can check it out at kellyclarksonshow.com.